The first priority, I think, is to manage the wound as an open wound. So don't be tempted to close wounds too early in the picture. I think our temptation as surgeons and veterinarians is to try and fix things right off the bat. And open wounds I see as more of a long-term project rather than a short-term fix. Uh, so that would be the first uh, set of advice. And then the second piece of advice would be to always try and achieve a healthy bed of granulation tissue. So that should be your um, ultimate goal in open wound management is to create a, a healthy bleeding pink granulation bed and then you've got a multitude of options of how to get the wound to actually be closed over that. I think any wound that's not a acute onset, very clean wound should be left open really as a general rule. So wounds that people tend to have a tendency to close that don't do so well initially are things like uh, dog bite wounds. There's a lot of crushing trauma, there's a lot of infection in those wounds and so if you suture them on day one they're more likely to, to have issues and dehiss. Um, so taking wounds that are contaminated or, or very traumatic and leaving them even just for a couple of days to let the tissue kind of declare itself, um, determine what's healthy and what's not and then when you're sure that the wound bed is in a healthy place at that stage go ahead and close it.